Hello, YouTube family. Today's video is how to make these shorts. These are shorts that tie on the side. Um, what I did wrong was I didn't add the string longer. But these are what they're gonna look like, okay? So this is pattern number 155. Let's get started. You guys, I already um, pre-did most of the stuff. I already threaded the machine to save some time. I already cut out the fabric and I already cut out the trim. So we're gonna speed it up. I'm gonna try to make, um, I'm trying to sum down the timing on the videos. So y'all will have long videos. Some of y'all don't mind, but I know some of y'all do. So, here's our pattern. I'm gonna pull it down. Here's our pattern. You see it? So what we're gonna do is, we're going to put it shiny to shiny. Shiny to shiny. So this is the part that we're gonna seam together. We're gonna stitch from here, from here to here. We're gonna stitch these two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it like this. That's the way it looks. You see the way it looks? It's gonna look like that. So we're gonna then, I'm gonna cut my machine off. We're gonna hold it from here at the top of the shorts, right? When you hold it in place, you put it up underneath your machine Once you put it up underneath the machine, you then hold the end part. That way it don't pull off or it don't be lopsided, okay? Once we hold the end part, we then make sure it stays lined up and we stitch. Cut your string exactly from where you end it. See the way it looks? Go over it for your second time. Once we go over it the second time, you see it? It's gonna look like this. So now we're gonna do the same on the other side. So we're gonna lay our shorts down. Yeah, I can see the shorts from that way. Let me see. Okay, we're gonna lay our shorts down. Make sure it's on top of each other. Yeah, see it? Line them up, hold from the top. When you hold from the top, when you hold from the top, you're still gonna hold your piece at the end. Once you done both sides, you see it? Once you do both sides, this is how it should look. If you open it up, it's gonna look like this. But we're gonna keep it closed. We're gonna turn it inside out. The reason why is this piece is our crotch. So we're gonna do crotch to crotch. We're gonna put the seams in the center. You see it? Whichever way we fold our seam, we're gonna fold the other one the same way. 
So you see it? Put it up underneath the machine before you start. Line it up. Try to line it up as much as you can. We're going to go over it one more time. You see it? So now we turn the right side out. So I'm going to show y'all what these shorts look like before, before we um, add the trim, okay? Okay. We don't need the serger anymore, so we can get rid of that. We're done with the serger. Let's push it back. Here go our mannequin. Let me put the shorts on the mannequin so y'all can see what it looked like before. they look like before either way it could be front or back you see the side this is where we're going to trim and then we're going to tie these two this is the front same way you see it so the first thing that we're going to do after we after we close it you guys the first thing that we're going to do is wait a minute i wrote my little instructions on here we stitch that side, we stitch that side. We're going to trim, wait a minute. Wait a minute. One second. I gotta put my lotion on because y'all know my hands be ashy. My whole little body be ashy. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get some trim, you guys, right? We're gonna trim from here to here on front and back okay so y'all with that make sure you write your steps down after you seam the shorts completely close the next step is going to be trimming around the top of the shorts okay but only from here to there on front and back and we're about to trim wait a minute i'm rubbing my lotion in So we're gonna take these off. <laughs> and like I said, I had already had everything prepped. That way it wouldn't be on the one video. I need to close our snack cabinet. It look crazy in it. Okay. Okay, so we got our trim. It doesn't matter how long your trim is. I got my trim the width two inches. You can make your width whatever whatever size you want. Okay. So here's the shorts. You see it? So now let's start trimming. Oh, it ain't no ain't no thread. How y'all doing today? Are y'all enjoying the videos? Make sure y'all like and subscribe and share the videos 
you guys if you're interested in this pattern it's pattern number 155 um i do have um up to 155 patterns right now um i do give bundle deals when you get more than one pattern wait a minute i gotta fill my bag out so So here we go with our trim. You can make it as thick or as thin as you want. This is the top of our shorts. I'm gonna put it directly on the edge right here, fold it over. to the edge right here you want to stop okay go a little bit and stop cut it off right cut off your strings and then yeah know this is not the way it's supposed to look you got to go back and flatten it none of this is supposed to be up so we're going to go back our second way around and this is our guide right here. Let me zoom in so you have to see it. You see me. This is going to be our guide. Wait a minute. Better. Okay. So right here is our guide. So we're making sure it stays flat. We don't want nothing to come up ever. So where if somebody watched something, it ain't coming apart. See the way it looks and if y'all looking for somebody to make custom fabric like you see that I have my logo and my stuff on my um on my fabric I have a vendor for that Let me see. Um. One second, yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, somebody flying in from out of town. So I just had to let them know if their stuff was closer. So you see that part? So now we're going to flip it around. We're going to do the same thing on this part. 
Same thing. Start from the edge. we do I do offer in-person and virtual classes I'm located on the borderline of Charlotte North Carolina and South Carolina you, you will fly into Charlotte which is the airport code is CLT if you are not following us on our Instagram you are missing out we have daily deals, daily deals in the story. But you have to be following us to get the deal. And turn your notifications on so you don't miss nothing. Mm -mm -mm. Cut it straight off from right here. So you see the way it looked the first way around? You don't want it to look like that. We gotta go back and flatten that part. So we're going back right now. And we're flattening it. You wanna make sure your zigzag catches the black and the yellow. You see it? And your second way around, you can go faster because you already have your guide. Does that make sense? I'm gonna have to use my other tripod because this is shaking. I didn't know this shake. Why didn't y'all tell me? Why didn't y'all tell me this be shaking? I be thinking I'm doing something with this one. Okay, so we did our top part. So y'all yeah, roll down the steps. You seam it first, you close it, you do the top part, right? So now let me zoom y'all out so we can see. So our front top part and our back top part, you see it, is done. So both of them is done. So now what we're gonna do is make sure you don't have nothing hanging over. You see how this one's hanging over? You don't want nothing hanging over. You wanna chop it off. You see it? Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from one side to the other side. So you're gonna then get whatever piece of trim you're using i'm using my trim let me tell you how long my trim is that way y'all can before you ask me i'm gonna use 30 inches okay 30 inches so this is this long piece of trim that's 30 inches right i'm gonna then wait, let me scoot this back so you can see me here go here go the sides. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take one piece of it, I'm gonna sit it right here on the fold, and I'm gonna fold it over. So once I fold it over, I'm gonna measure how much it's gonna be, and I'm gonna try to have it even on each side, which that was not even at all. Or right, look, matter of fact, just take it and fold it in half. When you fold it in half, then it's already folded in half. You then can just sit it on the fold, fold it over on top of it. You see it? And now you will see that both pieces is even. So you're going to start your stitch right here once you fold it over. So all I've done was folded my trim in half. I'm sitting it on top of my fold or on top of my shorts. 
And then I'm putting it up underneath here. When I put it up underneath there, right? Wait a minute. So look, I'm making sure my fold is right on my trim. I'm putting it inside of the trim and I'm stitching. Okay, but I'm gonna pull on my trim a little bit, okay? You gotta pull on the trim a little bit. So you, you're gonna stop right there at the top. Where it meets, you're gonna stop. You're gonna go over it and lock it. So you see what I did? You're gonna stop right there. So you see what I did? We stopping right there. So you're stopping right here, y'all. So we gotta go back over for the second time. You know that. That way we make sure it's secured. Okay, it's secured. So once it's secured, cut your strings. That way you don't have no string mess and you don't be the string lady. Cut your strings now. Get them out your way. You see it? Cut them off. So once you cut it, right? Yeah, once you cut it, you then just grab your piece and you pull it. Pull it. Once you pull it, it'll rivel up. But pull it on both parts. And when I did it so off, y'all, it's not even at all. So look, once you pull it, right? You then put them side by side like this. And then you cut it and make it even. You see it? Look. Once you cut it and make it even, knot it at the end. See how we knot it at the end? Yeah, knot it at the end. And we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Wait a minute, y'all. I'm going to cut my... Cut my own cabbage down. Okay. So this is the way it looks so far. You see it? This is how it looks on one side. So we're going to do the other side the same way. Okay. Let me get another piece of black. Piece of black trim. One second. I thought I had enough. I didn't. Sorry. Coming. Coming. Bruno, relax. Bruno, relax. Okay, got it. So 
So now all I'm gonna do is do the same thing on the other side. So I got my other black piece, y'all. I had to find it, I'm sorry. I thought I had enough, but that wasn't long enough. So we're gonna go on the other side. And a way that we can, a way that we can tell where we started at, like our length, we can take this piece on this other side, we can measure it to right here, and then we know where we start on the shorts. So it'll be like to right here. So I'll then keep my hand right here. So now I'll put it right here. So now I just sit it right there, fold it over and start. Mario, Mario, Mario. My best friend don't hear me. This water's driving me crazy. Y'all see what I'm doing? This water's driving me nuts. Y'all don't know. I got ADD. I can't sit still. I've never been diagnosed with it, but when I hear people talk about it, I'm like, that's saying exactly what I got. Like what I got. Because I can't sit still for too long. I be all antsy and stuff. I just be wanting to move. So now, let me raise y'all up so you can see it. So you can see what I'm doing. And then you make sure nothing is hanging off the edge. Remember I told y'all? Make sure nothing is hanging off the edge of the shorts. You see it? So then we tuck it in right there. And this is our stopping point right here. Our stopping point is right here. Secure it. We almost done, y'all. Okay. So now it's done. One second. Cut off all my strings. Mm -mm -mm. So it should look like this. And then you put it side to side. You measure it to make sure it's even. Once it's even, you pull it. So all we're gonna do is pull it. Once we pull it, we're gonna knot it. One second, I'm knotting it. Um, yep, we not. I'm knotting it right now. Make sure you check the address on DoorDash so you won't send it here and you send it there. 
I'm sorry, y'all. My son's over there doing that. She's at school. Okay, so I'm knotting it. And now we just trim the bottom. So because we don't have to um, make no holes or anything, we're just going to do a regular trim. Same thing that we just did right now. Okay. So now our pieces are like this on it. So now we just at this part in our crotch. We're going to start at our crotch. Okay. This is the last part and we're done. So I will start like right here on this little part. going to pull a little bit on your trim not a lot but a little bit if you don't pull on it it's gonna be baggy in the inside okay so you just want to pull a little bit Check them out when you get a chance. Oh, that's okay. It's all right. You don't have to. Right now. Yeah, it's no rush. So now, when we get close to the part where we got to connect it. So now we're gonna come a little past where we started. You see where we started right here? We're gonna come a little past it so we can overlap it. You see it? So we're gonna then hold this piece. We're gonna hold the piece that we already started with. We're gonna overlap it with our new piece. You have to make sure that it's the same width. If you don't hold it, Somebody's gonna know where you started and where you stopped. But if you hold it and overlap it, they won't know. Second time around. One second. Okay. Oh, let's see what the thread came out. This is our second way around to make sure we're flattening it. Oh shit.
stitching something. I done stitched something backwards. The part that was in the back, I done let it fold and stitched it to it. You see what I did? But you see how I opened it? I opened it back up. So. See how you can make mistakes? You see how I made this one so thin? Because I caught it right there. That's okay. I'm just gonna flat. It. There we go. So now this part is done. Cut off all your strings. And I'm gonna show y'all what the inside is supposed to look like. Oops. This is the inside of our leg. You see it? The inside of our shorts. Our shorts are upside down. So now we just got this other little leg and we done. And we done. We in there like swimwear. Same thing. So y'all, please come and join our private Facebook group. Anything that you make, you can come over there and you can sell it in our group. It's under Hidden Agenda Sewing Family on Facebook. Hidden Agenda Sewing Family. Hidden Agenda Sewing Family. And y'all, listen, this is the first that I announced it. I'm going to do the pattern books on sale this week. But listen, when I have any sale, the sales are not um, with payment plans. I do offer payment plans with regular regular pricing. So if you don't got it all at one time, you can pay little by little. That way you can still pay your bills and still invest in your business. And over time, it'll be paid for. And then you will have your class or you have your pattern book or you will have your vendors. But I do accept payment plans. So you don't have to have everything at once. You won't receive your product until your, until your tab is paid in full. But it, at least you know that you're paying towards something and you feel good. While still being able to while you're still being able to live and pay your bills. Because I don't want nobody to ever just go broke and go without, you know, investing in something from me. I got four kids I take care of every day, so I already know what it's like having bills. But like I said, I do do payment plans. But y'all, I'm going to put the pattern book on sale this week. So I'm going to put it on sale for $16.50. Okay, instead of it being $2,500, it's going to be $1,650. And what comes with it is 101 patterns. You get $1,500 in vendor credit. And you save yourself. You save $850. But if you don't have it to buy it all at once like that, you can do a payment plan on the full price. And let me tell you how that works. Let's say you want to put $100 down on your book. Well, you're getting $1,500 in vendor credit anyway. So soon as you put whatever dollar amount into your book, I'll give you the vendor credit right then and there. So if you put $200 down, you get $200 out of the $1,500 vendor credit. And it's no expiration date. You can take as long as you want with your payments. It's no rush. Okay, we're done, y'all. This is it right here. Once we come around to this part, we are done. Okay, we done. Let's see how it turned out. Let's cut our strings. And let's see how it turned out. Let's see what's going on over here. Okay, I'm getting ready to put the mannequin up here. 
Well, I'm gonna put the mannequin down here. Okay, y'all, we're done. So here's the mannequin. Oh, snipes. Let me, uh, I don't want them to, to block me. They be blocking me whenever I um, don't be having no clothes on the mannequins. So let me put some, let me put the bottoms on the mannequin. One second, y'all. I told y'all we're gonna have a, um, a camera person real soon. I'm gonna speak it into existence. Okay. So we heard that. Like I told you, it don't matter which side you put it on. You can put it on front or back. It really doesn't matter. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So now here go our shorts. Let's pull them up. Ooh, let me zoom out. Okay, you see it? Can y'all see it? Oh, where did I go? Ooh. Okay, y'all. I'm Jasmine. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying, y'all. Work with me. Work with me. Okay, you see it? Okay, so look. See, this one's better because our string is longer. So you can actually see the tie. On the other one that I did, you couldn't really see the tie. I did the string too short. So make sure y'all make your string long. Yeah, see on the other one, the string.